Hey guys, it's the Blog Tyrant here, and I've got a bit of a cold, so I have to apologize for my blocked nosed sounding voice. But today, what I want to do is show you how to create a split test or an A B test. Now, you use a split test when you want to test two versions of the same ad and see which one performs better. Now, what I want to do today is talk about how to split test an email subscriber form or an email opt in form so you can see which one gets the most subscribers. Um, and as we all know, that's really important for bloggers. Now, the absolute best way to do this is with Aweber. So if you don't have an Aweber account, go and sign up. You're going to need it if you want to become a professional blogger. They just really do things the best. So here we are on the web forms page. I click web forms and you see here I've already created one web form. Now web form is just another fancy word for that opt-in area where people enter in their name and their email address. So to create a split test you need two. So what we're going to do is click create a new web form and it'll take you into their nifty little editor. Now this is one of the reasons I really love Aweber because you don't need to be a designer. You can do it all with their own designs and you get this amazing widgetized area here. So you know if you go to I'll click popular here and you see there's all these popular templates you can choose from. So if your blog's about money you can choose this money template, change the colors and then here it appears here. Um, you can change the text on things so if you don't want that to say name you could say your name and then it just appears right here in the center. Um, and that's a really really cool thing about Aweber. You don't need the code, you don't need the coding skills. So let's just save this one and then what we'll do is I'll take you to the settings page next in the middle here. So let's save this one as split test 2. Now once you've done that we'll click save there and normally you click publish but what we're going to do now is go back to web forms. So click web forms at the top and you see we have two split test web forms there. Now once we've done that second one, this area down here appears, um, create a new split test. So what we're going to do is click that button there and this is where we create our split test. So I'm going to call this blog sidebar split test. And then what you've got to do is you've got to assign a percentage that your visitors are going to be seen it, uh, are going to be shown the ad, sorry. So um, we want to test this one right down the middle, so we're going to give 50% to each. So what that means is every time somebody comes to your blog, they will see one of the versions of your um, two split test opt-in forms. Obviously they're not going to see both, um, but if they come back a few days later they might see a different one. Um, but you know everybody's going to be shown one version, but only 50% uh, of each one will be shown. So we'll save that split test. So the split test has been saved and you see down here now you get these nifty little stats. So you can check in here every day and see which one is performing better. So it shows you the display. So you know if one's performing way better um, all of a sudden you might find that it's because it's been shown a few more times and it, the other one needs to catch up. Um, so that's a really cool little thing and I get a little bit addicted to checking these stats. So one, once you've created the split test all you got to do is go get HTML, click that, and it gives you this HTML here. So you just click it, copy, right click, copy, and all you got to do is paste this um, HTML code into your blog somewhere. I just put it in the sidebar where I know the ad is going to appear because then I don't forget where I've put it if I ever want to take it out. So we'll go over to here to Blog Tyrant, and I've logged into my WordPress dashboard. We all know how to do that. And then over here, under Appearance, you want to click Editor. So once you've clicked that, Go over here onto the right hand side and select sidebar, your sidebar PHP. Now once you're in there, all you got to do is just whack that code in there, click update file, and then that split test will then show on your blog. So if we open up my blog here, we'll see I've got this sidebar ad here. Enter your email and join over 4,500 others who got blah 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 blah. So if I was doing a split test on this ad, what I might want to do is change that color there, um, say try red or green, um, or get rid of the ticks and get rid of these dot points and just have a block of text, or perhaps add a picture, or instead of the word submit, I, want to, I might want to try the words um, let's get started, or something like that. And what you'll find is that these split test versions give you amazing data into what works and what doesn't. I know a lot of bloggers who found that 
things like um, social proof, you know, stats, like um, how I've said 4,500 others um, doesn't work as well as they thought it would. So that's how you set up a split test, guys. If you have any questions, drop me a comment on the YouTube uh, page where this video is. I'll do my best to answer. And I'd love to hear about any results you have from your own split tests um, because, you know, I'm still learning and I'd love to learn from you guys. So hope you enjoyed it.